Hey, I'm Chris with the Meeple's Market, and we're doing an unboxing of Ruination from Colossal Games. Um, let's pop this bad boy open. Got the shrink wrap pre-cut. Makes it easy. While I'm doing that, I want to say thank you for tuning in. We appreciate having you here. If you like the video, feel free to uh, hit the like button, subscribe, so you can see our updates. We're going to be doing some giveaways here in the future. And we got the shrink off. Ruination, box art's pretty cool. Beautiful, all right. All right, first things first. It's looking, it's looking a little messy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, take it one at a time. All right, we got the rule book here. Feels thick, 24 pages. A lot of text, walls of text. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, never ending lines of text in that rule book. Then we've got, I guess this is a poster, but it's all, looks like a hamster ate it. The art looks cool but we got hamster hamster teeth on it or something. So that sucks. Okay, then we got like a round tracker. It's made out of thick uh, card stock, but same thing as that. It's all, uh, it's all crunched up on the corners. Hamster didn't eat it, but it's seen some, some stuff. Okay, we got these player boards. Luckily these have not been mangled like the other pieces. The Purge, Blood of Tengri, Rust Buzzards, and Si Wang Zishu. These look cool. Blue, green, yellow, and pink. Big fan of those colors. All right, this is where it looks rough. The Punchies, it's bent. Some have been punched out. This is creased, almost torn. Hopefully it did not mangle the punch board. The ones that aren't, oh, these are, these are smooth punch outs. These are like on the verge of, uh, you know, like sometimes you get the thing and you can like, I actually hit them out, but if you just like tap, sometimes they fall out. These aren't gonna fall out, but if you just apply the lightest pressure, they're coming out and there's there's not that little like uh, little nub you get sometimes. So these are cool. I'll just punch these out real quick while we're on camera. Okay. Punch boards are out. There's a, it looks like these squares go to each player color. <clears throat> this thing, we got a, uh, like a banner, a little banner standee. Couple of tiles, all right, cool. Next we got the game board. It's a heavy game board. It's a big game board. As I struggle. All right, game board, it is not double-sided. It's a single-sided game board. It's nice, good finish. Colors are sweet. See if we can get that up here a little bit. See it. Next, we got the box. Some of these punchies that had fallen out. None of the punchies were bent, by the way. So that's good. So the only real damage we got in here is the edge of that one round tracker thing and the hamster chewing on the on that cool poster. 
All right, we got some cards. All right, cards. The backs are pretty bland, but I think it goes with the whole theme, like wastelandish. They're kind of like dirty looking. And then it looks like they have all the markings painted on them. They correspond with the board. So the card backs are cool. And the card fronts. Cool to all the illustrations. It has that same sort of color palette with the player colors in the background. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of repeat cards either. So it looks like there's a lot of unique art. So that's cool. And we'll uh, do a little overlay. Show those close up. Next we got some dice. Some dice. Love them. All right, we got a pink one, like a hot pink color. Got some torches. And then some mixed resources. Two torches. Then we got this yellowish gold dice. It's got skulls and stars. Got a skull. And then three six, nine, 12 of these black dice that have stars, fists, and blanks. A lot of blanks there. All right, next up is we got minis. Uh, they come in six colors. So we got the green minis. The end of the video we'll do a uh, a close-up so you can see the minis better so if you're interested in the minis stick around after the video and we'll do a swirly shot green minis blue minis these colors are these colors are cool pretty nice some of them have these uh, spears that are a little like uh, floppy, but they're not bent like you see a lot of minis have. Oh, actually, spoke too soon. This guy's spear is pointed straight up. Most of them are good though. Blue, we got yellow. Again, all these colors are like super vibrant. Kind of reminds me of the uh, video game Rage horses and they all have the same like uh the same type of model but different sculpts like this horse has uh, like a skull with feathers and stuff on its head while this horse has like a axe blade on its head and these guys have crossbows these guys have normal bows cool pink Not often do you have pink as a player color in this type of a game, so this is cool. But I really like this blue, so I'll probably be the blue my first game. But the pink guys have uh, chained maces, so that's that's sweet. Cool. The minis are pretty good, actually. And then lastly, we've got, I guess it's, uh, it's light gray. It's almost white. This person's got an eagle on their back or a hawk. This guy's got a giant cannon. This dude's got a little guy on his back. These are cool. A freaking bear. A mech. All right, yeah, so a lot of cool minis. And that's everything. Uh, the box has cardboard. Cardboard insert, which divides up. And I, I held the baggies for each of the factions, and they're pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, my cardboard insert got all 
jacked up here on the edge. It's peeling up. Must be the hamsters. But that's the game. Box is thick and heavy too. It's got the box art that goes around it. Well, this corner of the box is actually torn a little bit. Come on, ruination! But that's it. That's the unboxing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. I'm ready. I'm warmed up. Put my phone in silent.